all of the junk in the trunk. Hello everyone and welcome back to Clue Amateurs. Jamie here and today we are back in my Toyota Celica. Now I haven't done a car video in a little while but today we are back with another minor interior mod and today we are going to be working in the trunk, the boot, depending on which side of the Atlantic you're on, uh, to work in a bit more storage. Now something I've talked about a lot on this channel is the fact that I like to have all the stuff I need with me for any eventuality regardless of where I am, whether I'm at home, at work or in the car. This means that I end up carrying quite a lot of stuff around with me. I'll always have picnic blanket, umbrella, jump pack, um, first aid kit, tools, fire extinguisher. In winter I'll probably have a snow shovel, snow grips, um, antifreeze. In summer I'll probably have extra coolants and bottled water. Basically there's a lot of stuff in the boot, in the trunk of my car. And while it's great to have this stuff, it does take up a lot of space. So what I'm going to do today is work out a way that I can fit some extra storage into the spare wheel. So let's head into the boot. Okay, so here we are on the boot, and if you look down, there is this great big box where I keep all of the junk in the trunk. So if I just move that out of the way... And the spare wheel... Is under here. Move the carpet, move this bit of wood, and there we have our spare wheel. So what we're going to find is the narrowest point in here, so we'll just angle you down a bit more, and I've measured and from here to here is 14 inches or 33 and a half centimeters, and from the uh, kind of handle, the screw that holds the spare down, I think we've got about four and a half inches of space up to where the piece of wood sits on the wall of the spare tyre. However, what we're going to do is remove this and hopefully have this go through the bottom of our storage container so that we get that extra half inch or so of space. Now in theory we could just cram things in here, um, but Obviously they're then going to fall through and rattle around in the wheel well if they are uh, small enough to. And also you are then going to have to take out everything individually if ever you need to access the spare wheel. If we can just reach in, unscrew it and lift out the storage container, that's going to be much easier. Now, earliest day I went to a local hardware store and picked up this. This is a... Um, I think it's called a Griller tub, um, it's kind of a flexible rubber plastic tub that fits really nicely in there, but it's ever so slightly too tall. So what we're going to do is just mark a line and cut off the top little bit and then drill a hole for this to go through in the bottom. Really, I think we're going to get away with just cutting off this kind of top layer of rubber and that should then sit flush with the wall of the tyre. So let's head indoors and work out how we're going to cut off that top little bit. Okay then, so now we're just going to cut off that little kind of top rim of the um, bucket of the tub just to make sure that it sits below the wheel walls of the spare tyre. Um, ideally you probably want maybe a junior hacksaw or a Stanley knife for this. Don't actually have either of those to hand, so we're going to try it with the trusty uh, Victorinox Spartan. If that doesn't work, we might have to find another solution. Okay, so now we've got the top of our tub trimmed off. It's not a perfect cut, but it's going inside a grossy old spare wheel, so not a big deal if it's not nice and neat. What we're going to do now, get this label out and drill a hole through for the retaining screw, bolt, whatever you want to call it. Ok, 
Okay, so to my eye, this is one about an eight millimeter hole to pass cleanly through. So I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom here to get our bolt through. Realistically, you could just bore this with a knife, but you don't want lots of little flecks of plastic getting into the thread. So I think we'll get a cleaner finish if we drill it. Okay then, so moment of truth, let's check that it fits and hopefully store some of the random crap from the boot in the wheel instead of in a great big box. cover fits as it should which it wouldn't have before we trimmed it down which is good Okay then, so there you have it. That is how to take kind of a bucket or a bowl and turn it into some nice, neat, compact storage to live in your spare wheel. Um, I haven't invented anything new here, really. I mean, you can buy these for some cars, things like um, Mercedes G-Wagons. You can get great big storage boxes that go inside the spare. Loads of car companies sell kind of a polystyrene or foam molded um, toolkit holder that goes inside the spare. It's nothing new, but this is a nice, cheap, easy solution if you want something like this for a car that doesn't come with one of those or that you can't buy one of those for. I haven't filmed the section of me packing everything into it just because I did have to have a bit of a cull as I was doing that because I realised I had loads of stuff that was well in excess of what I needed. I had two jacks, I had three different tyre levers and spanners, and unless you're starting an F1 pit crew, you don't need that level of kit. So I did have a little bit of a clear out. I have ultimately fitted pretty much everything that I need with me or that I want to have with me in my car into that wheel storage or into the umbrella rack in the boot. So I've now got my nice big-ish boot of the Celica free to store things in. What I will include, and I'll probably have it as the thumbnail of this video, is a picture of kind of the finished article with the storage in use. And I'll pop that in now. Okay then, so that's about it for today. Thank you for taking time to watch. I hope that this has been interesting or useful for some of you. Um, if it has, please do hit that like button and do consider subscribing. Do loads of different stuff on this channel, car stuff, outdoor stuff, science and technology stuff, really eclectic mix, and it would be great to have you along for the ride. That's all for today though. I've been Jamie, this has been Chloe Amateurs, and I'll see you next time.